Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. In this video, we've got a souped up T-style guitar to share with you guys. Perfect for dirty country, dirty blues, and southern rock. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. As I mentioned, we've got a souped up T-style guitar to share with you guys in this gorgeous surf green. I'm definitely all about that. This is the Vola Vasti. Now, Vola guitars are made in Japan, and obviously this is not just your typical telly, so we're gonna get into it, find out what this guitar is all about. All right, so let's quickly hit up some of the highlights on this guitar so we know exactly what it is we're dealing with. As I mentioned, this is the Vola Vasti, and the first thing I gotta say is the body styling on this guitar very very cool love this little contour that runs along there and of course we've got huge belly cut here and a really awesome scoop here so when you're playing your hand just kind of goes right into that notch and it helps you reach to the upper frets so really cool contoured body and this is made of ash really nice because fenders basically said they're going to stop making guitars out of ash so nice to have an option if you like an ash body and of course this has that gorgeous surf green finish now up on the headstock we've got a set of goto vintage style tuning machines so we get the old school smaller buttons and on the back as you can see yes a very vintage vibe so that's pretty cool and to my knowledge vola guitars are the only brand that have a qr code on the back of the headstock so i broke up my phone and took a picture sure enough it linked to the specs on this guitar so the year it was produced uh, the finish the serial number uh, confirmation kind of thing to show you that this is the guitar that it says it is so the serial number is valid and all that stuff so pretty fun uh, i've never seen that on a guitar before now the neck itself is one piece maple meaning the fingerboard and the neck is all out of one piece of maple and the truss rod goes in through the skunk stripe right here and it's tinted and a wonderful wonderful smooth satin and I will say one thing about the neck profile on this guitar it's not quite as thick as like a 50s telly but it's full so if you like kind of like a fuller neck that you can grab onto and really dig into uh, this has one of the nicest neck profiles I've ever played on I said the same thing about the, the Oz that I uh, demoed a few months ago wonderful wonderful neck profile absolutely love that other than that you load it up like a typical telly strings through the back of the body and out through this ashtray bridge we've got barrel saddles and this sweet looking rail bridge pickup now i always love it when manufacturers kind of give you something extra and the vasti is no exception you've got what they call a power boost simply just pull up on the volume knob and you get the power boost on the bridge pickup so pretty eager to try that out and see what it sounds like so those are the overall highlights of the vasti i will link to this guitar in the video description below if you want all the specs now for the fun stuff let's plug it in i definitely want to try this power boost feature and see exactly what it does and as i mentioned after that we'll talk about playability ergonomics and construction and stuff so we will get to that but let's jump in and check out some of the tones <music> Thank you. 
guys, now that we've heard some riffs on the Vola, it's time to throw it in a mix and play over a backing track. A link to the track, as always, is in the video description below. It's time for the one minute solo. <laughs> Guys, so let's talk a little bit about the ergonomics. Now, my Vasti came in at 7.3 pounds, a nice kind of lighter mid-weight instrument. I'm always hesitant to list the weight because what you receive might not be what I receive, but this one was 7.3 pounds. And I have to say it is supremely balanced. So if I just put it on my, my lap here, you can see there's no headstock dive. And if I push down on the headstock, you know, it kind of just kind of comes back into a nice playing position. So you know, sits on your lap really well, it's lightweight, and of course, really ergonomic and well balanced. As I mentioned off the top, uh, there's pretty much contours everywhere. Um, very, very comfortable. Love this one right here, very practical. I think the only thing I would love to see is more of a contoured heel joint. This is a very traditional heel joint. So, um, you know, when you get up to that upper position, this part of your hand really fits beautifully all the way up, but this part of your kind of chunkier part of your hand kind of hits that heel joint. So that's one improvement that I'd like to see, uh, especially since everything else is just about perfect. Now, as I mentioned um, off the top, the neck profile for me is just about perfect. It's just the sweet spot, nice and full. So it's not a shredder neck, but it's not like the full 52, <laughs> the, the big chunky one. Uh, so really nice. And um, I guess I haven't talked about this part of it, but um, all the, the ridges where the, the neck profile meets the fingerboard are really nice and rolled. So I'll take a shot of that. And you can look at the fret ends in this photo too, but look in between the fret ends, the part of the fingerboard, and you can just see just how smooth and wonderful that is. So they, they did an awesome job contouring that. So when you hang your thumb over, or if you're muting and sliding up and forth, uh, back and forth, just a wonderful experience. So happily, I can say this guitar is almost perfect. It's uh, really, really ergonomic, well-balanced, and a joy to play. So we've heard some of the tones and checked out some of the playability and sort of ergonomics of this guitar. Now let's hone in and look at some of the finer construction details. Now, this guitar is made in Japan, and as I say with pretty much every guitar I review made in Japan, um, they're super well-made. They have such a good reputation, um, you know, Japan just exploded kind of in the 80s and 90s and you know it kind of became expensive to produce guitars there and then they went to you know Indonesia and Korea and some of these other countries um, but the Japanese made guitars are still absolutely top notch. So let's look at some of the fret detailing. I'll give you guys a shot way up high and then we'll transition to something maybe down lower and as you can see very consistent no tooling marks just a wonderful sheen and shine on those fret ends and as i mentioned in the ergonomic section that rolled fingerboard just makes this guitar super comfortable to play the fretwork very consistent so love that now the bone nut let's take a shot of that whenever you have a bone nut on a guitar you're guaranteed to have some pretty great tuning and this one's cut wonderfully. The shoulders match up with the edges. Uh, all the slots are very clean. So, you know, with the Goto tuning machines, the bone nut and all that stuff, um, this thing holds tune really, really well. And happily, I can say all the other small details are really taken care of, right down to the string ferrules. So, so clean and it's flush to the body. 
always love to see that. So overall, this guitar passes with flying colors, just a really, really precise instrument that's fun to play. Now, one question I got when I reviewed the Vola Oz is how do these Vola guitars hang on a strap? You know, they have this little contour here. You know, is it insecure? Is it, does it hang normally? Does it twist or anything? And happily, I can say, you know, it's totally normal. I've been walking around my house with this guitar for the last week on just a regular strap, no strap locks or anything. And it is 100% secure. Like it doesn't, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it at all. So uh, yeah, happily I can say there's no, there's been no mishaps, it's just a regular strap. I mean, if you're in a band that's like throwing the guitar over your shoulder and running around and jumping off amps and stuff like that, I would put strap locks on, but I would do that for any guitar. So happily I can say it just hangs absolutely normal. And I mean, look at this guitar, it just looks killer. So uh, very, very happy with this guitar. I think it's a, a great option for somebody who wants kind of like that souped up T-style guitar. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed this demo. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, I will link to this guitar in the video description below. All my links, including the gear I use, uh, t-shirt store, tab store, all that stuff is down there. Other than that, have yourself a great day.